Now this was the difference between the surface and the ground water. But India has always been a very developed nation since ancient times. And whatever we pick up, we have seen that in the ancient times too, people have been using some sort of method to conserve water. Now you will be surprised to note that in the ancient time, there are a lot of hydraulical structures which have been found in various parts of India. The first of its kind was constructed in the first century BC and that is for channelizing the Ganga water that is this water for harvesting system. This is the water harvesting system which was constructed at Allahabad in the first century BC. Next what we see is lot of dams and lakes were constructed by Chandragupta Maurya that is we talk of ancient India. Then sophisticated irrigation systems have also been found in many states of India like Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Besides in Bhopal, the largest of the artificial lake was constructed at that time and this was in the 11th century. Then we talk of the tank in the Hojkhas. This tank was built by Iltutmish and this was meant to supply water to the Siri fort area and this was built in the 14th century. If you actually see these hydraulical structures or you actually think about them, you will see that most of it, we use it even today. These structures are meant for conserving water even today in many parts of India. Whether it is the tanks or you channelize water or you actually make lakes or you make dams, all this is being done even today in India. So imagine that the people of ancient India even during BC had this sense that water as a resource is very very precious and we need to preserve it. I talk about the rest of the water in the next clipping.